Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate stopping on by. As you can see, I'm wearing my Friday the 13th shirt, and you know what that means. Yes, I'm back for another video of my continuing summer series of Friday the 13th related videos, and I figure I better start doing these more frequently because it's like already August. <laughs> Well, you know what, the summer is going to be freaking over, unfortunately. That's okay, I can do them into the fall if need be. So today I'm coming at you with something I got on eBay, probably, you know, 2011, 2012, 2013, something like that. Once again, I imagine maybe it was during the winter season when oftentimes back around that time, you know, in the winter you find yourself just miserable and freaking cold and freezing snow and freezing winter and stuff like that so something to help get you through the winter is doing a little ebaying as it were and this is something that you know back then and stuff I was searching all kinds of stuff you know terror train the burning Friday 13th and all this kind of stuff and over the course of weeks and months and stuff picking up lobby cards and all kinds of interesting knickknacks and stuff that looked interesting and this is actually really kind of something I picked up that's kind of cool and <clears throat> I'm not a big, huge autograph enthusiast. Like, I don't really care necessarily one way or another about autographs necessarily. But this it was so cool to me that I was like, I can't imagine I paid much for it. Um, then I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this because I think the layout of this is really kind of cool. It's an Adrian King kind of poster thing on this really, really snazzy. It came shipped. I just left it in this thing and this with, you know, this kind of poster board and this little, you know, plastic wrap and uh, it's this uh, Adrian King autograph from Friday the 13th, 1980. Um, and some really kind of cool imagery. You've got her saying uh, what she says a lot of times in aut autographs, see you at camp. Um, and then Adrian King, there's see you at camp. And then Adrian King on the bottom. And this picture on the bottom, incidentally, is a picture that I've never seen on you know any lobby cards, production photos, anything. This is the only place I've ever seen this picture, I think. And what's funny, I was just looking at this recently, and I think it's possible that for this photo, Betsy Palmer might have been... I don't know, it's hard to tell. It, it's, she might have been just holding up her hands, pretending like she's holding the machete and possibly not really holding it because it looks like, it, I can't tell 100%, but it's possible that this machete is actually like photoshopped into her hands. Actually, both of these pictures, come to think of it, are pictures that I don't think I've seen on a lobby or production photo or anything outside of this poster. If you have, if you've seen either of these two pictures on it and any standalone imagery, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments and send me a link to that image because I'd be interested in just seeing the photos on their own. But I just, I thought the, you know, at the time when I got this, and still I think up to this day, I, the one of the main reasons I got this were these just photos i just never seen before. And there's some kind of a, I don't know what this is. I can't read it. You know, it's almost like a, you know, a, a, a part, you know, written on a piece of paper, notes for what they want to have happen in the scene or something like that. I can't, I can see this 11 says head on, forehead slap. I mean, I can't read this shit for anything. The, the bottom number 13 is Miss... Miss V to accept the, I mean, I can't read most of this shit at all. Uh, so I just thought as a whole, oh crap, <laughs> as a whole, this was really, this is really, really cool. And so I got it. I mean, back when I got it, there were several of these on eBay. And, you know, you can pretty much be sure the autograph is authentic because, you know, they had a picture for each individual one. And, you know, the, the autograph was a bit different. You could tell, you know, on each one. And I've seen, I've, I've seen Adrian King's autograph, so I'm sure it's real. Uh, you know, a real autograph. Oh, the way I know it's real is because it <laughs> comes with the certificate of authenticity. I always think it's funny when... You know, like a piece of paper means something's any more authentic than it would be otherwise. But this is how I know it's real. But, uh, I mean, I picked this up, and as I said, I'm just going to keep it in this thing. 
because you know it's protected and, and it's just it's just kind of cool you know and I don't really look on eBay much for 513 stuff anymore but when I have in the more recent years I don't think I've ever seen this so it might have been just something that they were doing at that time but you know Friday the 13th 1980 being one of my favorite movies ever I thought this was a kind of a cool thing and it you know freaking Adrian King autograph that's pretty cool and as I said two images from the movie that um, up until this point, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen on any other, um, ever seen these images anywhere else. It's so funny, this looks like a fishing pole, or I don't know what the hell they're struggling with there. It's just, you gotta love this struggling between Adrian King and Betsy Palmer and, eh? uh, it's just so funny, but uh, thank you very much for watching my, uh, review about this year, you know, this video I should say, regarding this Friday, the th it's a really nice size too, Friday the 13th, I've got to have it up here to keep it all in the picture, but Adrian King autograph with, you know, unlegible freaking notes there, I mean it'd be interesting to know if that's like, a, you know, original, a cop, you know, a picture of original notes that was, you know, written for the the scene or whatever I don't know what the story is behind that feel free to let me know what the story is behind that if you know but uh, I would imagine it's either you know an actual picture of the original notes or something that's made to look like you know <clears throat> you know you know worded storyboard if you will regarding you know planning out or explaining the the actions to take place in that scene leading up to Mrs. V's beheading or whatever so Thank you very much for checking out my video, the Friday the 13th, 1980, Atrian King autograph. And as always, we'll catch you on the next video.